ang goal natin for our watch list is very simple. As much as possible, we don't want it to be above 30 stocks. We want to focus on a few stocks or a handful of stocks. So, dun sa 30 na yun, hopefully, merong gumalaw. So, kaya hindi natin kailangan bantayan yung lahat ng more than 300 stocks in the market. So, how do I filter my watch list? Very simple. I focus on third liners. I don't trade second liners. I don't trade uh, blue chip stocks. Whether maganda pa yung chart or kahit ka nakaganda yung chart. Focus lang ako sa third liners, ex uh, including exotics. When I say exotics, these are the stocks. Or in the tribe, we call that fourth liners, yung mga super basuras. These are the stocks na may below uh, 2 billion market cap. Yung pagpinitik, siguradong mamamasa ang pwet mo. Paano daw masasabi na third liner? Usually, pag sa mga friends ko na walang masyadong idea sa stock market, sinasabi ko, third liners are those companies na hindi mo nakikita sa daan. Yung tipo magugulat ka, meron palang stock na ganon. May company pala na ganon. Usually, sa market cap natin, tinitignan niya. Mga below 50, 50 billion market cap. For me, ako ay focus on below 2 billion na ganun. Below 10 billion, maganda na yan. So, gagawin natin ngayon ay watch list ng mga, make sure yung mga ilalagay natin sa watch list ay yung mga stocks that we think will move in the coming days or at least in the coming weeks. So, ito yung mga stocks that are high, uh, that are candidate for breakouts, candidate for momentum, and yung mga gagalaw na agad because uh, as you all know, I'm a momentum and swing trader. I don't usually uh, do position trades. So, tamad ako mag-anta. I'm very impatient pag, pag meron mga consolidation. So, uh, I devoted all my time, all time and effort and energy to making a system that will spot momentum and swing trades. So, kaya ako breakout trader. So, para lang at least alam nyo kung ano yung mga hinahanap natin. And most importantly, we're gonna focus on uptrends. So, I don't usually trade downtrends. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the trend is your friend, except at the end until it bends. Where it bends pala. So, focus lang tayo sa uptrends because that's the path of least resistance. We don't want to be contrarian. Kasi when you're, when you're tra trading a downtrending stock, Evidently, ang, ang trend nun is downtrend. Kaya nagkakaroon ng mga traders na bumibili sa downtrend because they're hoping that the stock would bounce. Could be a technical bounce, could be a total reversal, but still you're trading against the trend. Kasi it's, a, it's still in a downtrend. So, hindi siya, ano, contrarian trading siya. Unlike uptrend, the trend is your friend. You're trading in the direction of the trend. Unless siguro may shorting dito sa Pilipinas, we can trade down trends para ma-trend follow natin. Ang, mag ang opportunity lang for downtrend stocks are of course yung mga bounce plays. So magbibigay tayo ng mga trigger, mga levels, important levels to watch kung what particular play yung tinitignan natin doon. So let's first look at APX. So medyo moving na to in the past few days. But generally, this is a downtrending stock. So, kita nyo naman. Ayan, no? Maliwanag pa sa sikat ng araw. Okay, but let's look at the short-term trend nito. So, coming from a sideways, nagkaroon ng mini sideways dito and then nag-ZS or nag-breakout sa 100 MP. Uh, nung isang araw. And then, this is still sideways bound, eh. So, if makikita nyo, since sideways to, we're gonna turn off the MAs. So, yung initial range niya was ito. Ito yung initial range. And then, ito pala, yan, sama natin yung week. And then, ayan, nagkaroon ng bull tap dito. I tried to open above that range during this day. And then, nag-close. So, making that range resistance... Uh, powerful. So, ni-respect ng stock yung range resistance. Very easy. So, dito sa APX, uh, i-move na natin tong resistance na to here sa taas. 
Dito sa APX, let's try to look at the midpoint of this range. What we usually do kasi is we take the top and bottom of this range. Tapos, ikokumpid natin yung 50%. But, to simplify things, lagyan na natin ang PIBO and then let's plot the 50% of or the midpoint of that range here. So, as you can see, ito na yung midpoint ng range, ito yung top ng range, and then the bottom of the range. As you can see, current price is somehow reacting to the 50% to the midpoint of that range. Meron na itong bounce today. This one, meron din Fibonacci ito. I'm very sure about this. That's 61.8. So, nirespect niya. Medium term perspective nasa midpoint yung price na yun. So, ang expectation natin, since this is sideways, hindi natin tinatanggal yung possibility ng reversal. Okay, yung nagsa-sideways na yung stock. And that's good kasi hindi na siya nagka-downtrend. It's trying to reverse. Take note, it's trying to reverse. So, during reversal, hindi magiging madali yan since it's coming from a downtrend. So, maraming mga resistance along the way. And, ayan na nga, may isang green noong isang araw, long green candle, merong volume, ang ganda ng close, and then red the next day. Kasi mara, ganun talaga ang downtrend trading. Marami resistances along the way, unlike sa uptrend. Now, sa uptrend, it's very simple. Just follow your trail stops and then that's it. You have a lot of supports during uptrend. Nandiyan yung mga tatlong MAs natin na 20, 50, and 100. But dito sa downtrend, maraming resistance like mga uh, yung 20... 50 and 100 MA resistance din on the weekly chart yun. So, anyway, uh, this one is from a downtrend, nag-sideways siya, nag siya ng ilang months to ko, since start of the year. So, from February, ayun o, and then, dito medyo tumutulak na. Now, what we want for APX to happen is magkaroon ng, of course, higher low support above preferably above this 50 or midpoint of that range. So, ang gusto natin dito is mag-consolidate siya somewhere around here in the coming days. Diyan siya mag-consolidate. Okay, it could, you know, uh, it could take two weeks or one month or more. But for me, mas maganda yung ganun. Mas maganda yung mas matagal siya mag-consolidate kasi para mas makapag-build ng base. Okay, yung stock para magandang value siya for an uptrend. If it's gonna uh, turn into an uptrend in the coming weeks. But so far, range bound pa rin siya. Okay, so mas uh, powerful pa rin yung power ng range to resist and support the price. And that's why tinanggal natin yung MAs. Okay, kasi naguguluhan lang tayo pag merong MA since range naman to. Kita niyo yung spaghetti dito. As I've said during my previous stream, yung mga spaghetti MAs na yan, uh, suggest a range set up. Tignan niyo dito, meron yung mga spaghetti moves dito sa part na to. Spaghetti moves. Pero kung titignan mo, hindi masyadong ano. Pero ito yung, spaghetti, ito yung range na na-create during that ano. So, nagkaroon ng ano. If, if we're gonna turn off the MAs, mas magkakaroon ng sense yung chart. Kinda looks like nag-resist yung 50 and 100 MAs. So, tatang, tanggalin natin yung tanggalin natin yung 20. Ayan. So, nag-resist yung 100 MAs. So, 50. Pero if tanggalin natin yung 50, mas kitang-kita na nag-resist yung 100 MAs. This is the weekly chart. Okay, so since nag-resist to, we're expecting for it to at least retrace na nakikita naman natin sa date. But if we're going to be bullish sa APX, kailangan, as I've said nung kanina, mag-consolidate siya somewhere here so that the MAs will catch up. So that the MAs will form an alignment of the stars. So right now, tignan natin yung 20 MA nito nasa 175. Current close is 202. Yung base nitong range na to, ay nang pinpoint na to is 191. So medyo 175 to 191. Uurong pa yan dyan. Mag-i-imagine tayo. 
uurom sa dyan, hahabulin niya yan para maging immediate support yung 20MA. So, mangyayari lang yan kapag ka nagkaroon ng uh, consolidation here. So, remember, MAs are your averages. Kailangan uh, tumaas yung average nito, yung 20 moving day average nito, which is at 175, at humabol siya. Preferably, siguro kahit mga 190. Hindi natin alam kung gano'ng katagal. Pero, ayun ang gusto niyang gawin. Ayun, oh. Kuma, ano, no. Lumalawit. Nag-i-imagine lang tayo, this is what we call speculative charting. Yuck! Pero sana magkaroon doon ng liquidity in the coming weeks. Siyempre, happy-happy tayo. Okay, pero, ilalagay pa rin natin siya sa ating watch list. APX. Yun! Ano tayong number one? Si EI daw. Yun ang uptrend. Hmm, ito na naman siya sa ano. Na-mention ko to before. Eh. Na-discuss natin to na si EI, ganyan talaga yung TNA niya. When it consolidates, medyo matagal. So, nakita natin dito. Dito sa part na to. May, may, may pick lang pag-consolidate, pag-build ng base dyan. Pero if makikita nyo, 20M18 yung trail niya eh. So, dito meron din pag-build ng base dito. What's good about CEI is that after breaking out from its... Uh, kasi, ang previous... Teka, i-backtack natin. Ito yung pinakauan ng region. Sama natin yung So, baka ito may maging theme ng stream natin. Range breakouts. So, ito yung unang range dyan. Uh, then, we're gonna plot the... Uh, Fibonacci so to get the midpoint of that range which is around around here okay so dito may pag break out if you're going to use the candles body naman as for aggressive traders ito yung magiging box nyan ah yan and yung range niyan is around here. Yung midpoint. So, two scenarios. Meron, meron kasi yung iba tumitingin sa weeks. But ako personally, sa ano ko, sa body ako nagpuklat. Ay, hindi pala yan yung 50. Ayan, no, ito yung 50%. O, tama. So, around here yung range ng mini box natin dyan. Range, sorry. Range ako ng range. Midpoint ng range. So, brain mo na natin to. Ayan. Yan, para mas, ito yung for aggressive traders. Why, why do we say for aggressive traders yung body plotting? It's because if you're going to use this, this one, this particular breakout point, sabihin natin wala pa tong candle na to, and then this one, this one, this one, wala pa yan. If you're going to use this one as your breakout point, mas ahead ka, uh, mas ina-anticipate mo yung breakout ahead of the others as compared if using this one, yung big. So like for for this one, yung mga kadi, yung mga body plotters natin, nag-breakout na yung stock for them. For, for weak breakout traders, nandito pa lang. Sabi, ah, hindi pa breakout yan. Pero for body, ah, hindi breakout na yan. Meron ng pag-breakout. So, ako dito ako sa body kasi nagpo-plot. Medyo uh, 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 nag-a-anticipate ako. Especially during uptrends. Mas malakas yung bias na mag-breakout yun. Mag-continue yung breakout. That's why, nasa body ako naka-plot. The particular candle na to, nag-breakout. Pero, nag-close siya dun mismo sa range resistance. Then, the next day, it tried to break out. Ayun na, itong day na to. It tried to break out. Pero, nag-close below the box top. So, ang tawag natin dito, intraday bull trap. This particular move, ito yung parang, hindi ka mag-drawing ng cup and handle dyan. This is your cup, and then this is your handle. Now, this one, what's good? What's the good thing about uh, this one is nagkaroon ng support above the 50. Above the midpoint of our range. Which is yung kaninang sinabi ko sa APX na gusto nating mangyari, mag-support yung midpoint. So, dito, nag, nagkaroon, ng, ano, nagkaroon ng support. And that's because meron tayo dito, ayun o, oh, ito makapal yan eh. So, ito yung midpoint ng range and ito yung uh, support nito, itong candles body. So, ayun. 
parang trinawin sa tanas, umupo. May, 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 may pag-upo. Ito yung naging, uh, anong tawag dyan? Naging handle. Nung ano, or higher low. Now, that's why naging immediate pace to. Kaya nagkaroon ng pagtulak today. Ay, nasa 26, 25 pala to. Ang na difference ng mga fluctuations. So, yung iba, bili ng 2550, benta ng 26, especially mga brokers, para mag-commission. Diyos ko. Ganito, ganito nangyari sa IS dati. Commercial muna tayo. Tignan natin IS para mapakita ko lang. Yung 25, level ng IS before. Yung mag, mat, matagal na pag ano. Ayan o. No? Ganun na ganun din siya. Nagkaroon ng kapag makakalimutan itong hayop na to eh. So dito, ganun din yung parang ano. Pero uh, by the way, I'm not saying na same to na maging kakalabasan na ayas ha. Baka ma, ma ano nyo. Baka po siya magkaroon ng all in. Pero may pag-erect. Yan. So dito, ganun din yung nangyari. Flat tayo din sa body ng range natin. And then, uh, so i-flat natin. Tingnan natin yung midpoint ng range. Yan. Okay. And then let's plot 15 around here. Okay. So, ayan. So, dito, ayan no, medyo, dito pa lang, meron na tayong na-plot na natin yung midpoint. So, dito sa bounce, ay, sa rebound area na to, and then nag, yung midpoint, nag, ano siya, nag-resist na agad siya dun, and then, Ito naman yung range bottom, range support, nag-support. Then dito, nagkaroon ng pag-breakout, pero hindi kinaya, full trap. And then, ito binabasa lang natin yung story, naging story ng ano, and then dito, nagkaroon na ng ano, breakout. Sinubukan, nag-follow through, pero range resistance. Okay, if you're a... Um, A range trader, ang usually ginagawa ko dyan, is may susukatin natin yung, ayan o, susukatin natin yung ano, yung biyahe, from deep, from breakout nito until dun sa range. So medyo mataas, 19, ganyan ang basura trading, 19%. Pero, gusto mag breakout, hindi nangyari. Bumagsak. Nakita nyo, nag-support yung up. Uh, mid midpoint natin may pag-upo dalawang candle din parang fractal ano may pag-upo pero anyway ito yung para naging cup and handle din so, ito yung cup from here and then nagresist higher low handle and then we break out so this one Pero kaya ako in-example to kasi parehas na ng presyo ng CEI. During this time, hindi ko makakalimutan to kasi parang ganun nga yung nangyari. Bili ng 25, benta ng 26. Komisyon. Kaya naging konsumisyon pero buti hindi tumagal. Yun yung ano, maganda doon. Buti hindi tumagal kasi pwedeng tumagal yan. Kunwari dito, hindi pa mag-break out. Tagal. naglalaroan ng mga mga papi. Parang ganyan din yung nangyayari sa CI. Pero I'm not saying, ha. Diyos ko. Baka don't quote me on this. Hindi, hindi ko na sinasabi ko lang na parehas ng ano. So for CI, parang ganyan din siya. Pero ito, hindi naman ito kasing super stock ng IOS. So dito, may pagpupo din. Pero parehas silang nasa 25.25 or sa 25 cents na level. Target ito, piso. Biro lang. Biro lang. So, dito may pag-breakout. Pwede mag trap tomorrow. Hindi natin alam. Meron ba itong volume? Let's check the volume. Bahagya lang. Nandun siya malapit sa average. Ayun yung color blue yung average. Yung average volume. So, nag-breakout lang siya ng konti. Kailangan mag-follow through. in the coming days. But this one, we are expecting for the RSI to move above 70. Nandun ng ano, para levels. Nandun ng para levels. So, for breakout traders, nakasakay na yan definitely. Yung mga anticipate, nag-anticipate ng, ng 
breakout dito nakabili na yan nag uh, ano na yan dito na bobodega na yan dito sa level na to and then dito na reward sila ng market yung bias nila na magbe-breakout now may mga breakout traders din na pumasok dito sa breakout na to so meron na yan and then tomorrow if ever na magkakaroon ng support test dito around sa 2550 levels Pwede mag-dip yan dyan. Pwede mag-bull trap yan dito. Hindi natin alam. As long as hindi pa tayo natin take out. Not yet out of the woods, sabi nila. So that's for CEI. Ang, ang gusto natin is for the RSI to move above 70. Para matigar yung momentum. IMI, matagal na natin itong tinitiscuss. Strong ang uptrend nito. Pero may nakikita na tayong volatility. Today. When we say volatility, yung mga mahahapang expansion candles, mga ganyan, mahaba, 11% yung volatility nito. Ibig sabihin, during this this day, naglaro yung presyo. Up and down, up and down. Kaya 11%. Mostly down. Red nag-close yung candle. Pero anyway, nagkaroon ng support. Tignan nga natin yung short term Fibonacci kung may tinamaan ka na support. Nasa above 23. Nasa above 23.6. So this one, very easy trade, ano? Pwede natin kung breakout trader ka, just plot your breakout point here. Pero pagka ganito kasi yung strong uptrend na, yung iba bumibili na sa support. Eh. Which is okay. Uptrend kasi ang bias is tataas pa lalo. So, wala silang, ano, wala silang takot na bumili sa support. Okay. In ZFT, what we always say is, it's gonna go up forever. If the stock is in an uptrend, it's gonna go up forever. That will set your mindset. Parang na-condition mo yung mind mo that it's gonna go up forever until it bends. So, dalawa lang ang Dalawa lang ang objective namin sa ZFT. Number one, hanapin yung mga reasons para makita mo yung uptrends. Sorry, hindi reasons. Hanapin yung mga signs to know if the stock is on a an uptrend at on a downtrend ba or on a sideways. Then, if it's on an uptrend, hanapin mo lang yung trigger mo para ma-invalidate yung uptrend na yon at mag- downtrend reversal na siya. So, just like yung yung favorite saying natin na the trend is your friend until it bends. For us in ZFT, it's gonna go up forever until it bends. Or dito, until ma ma-break, mag-break down dun sa mga MAs natin. Especially sa 100 MA. Or pag nag-break down sa 100 MA, hindi, parang that's it. Pwede mag-sideways, pero yung chance niya na mag-continue to an uptrend, mahihirapan na. Kasi, simple lang, if the stock is very strong, hindi, hindi mabibreak, hindi yan matatouch yung 100 MA. Example is MRP. Tingnan niya, during this time, very strong yung move eh. Dito, dito ang tingin. Very strong yung move niya, na even the 50 MA hindi tinatouch. 20 MA lang yung ginawa niyang trade. Tingnan niya, mga support yung mga pag-support ng 20MA until it bends. So dito, anong nangyari? 20MA yung trend until nag-bend. Yung 20MA until na-break. 50MA, trinay niya, nagkaroon ng mga pag-rebound. Pag Pero this one, sideways na to, nag-sideways. Para, may maliit na sideways yan. Until nagtuloy-tuloy na kawa yung 50MA. What I'm saying is, if the stock is really strong, hindi niyan itatouch yung 100 MA. Dito, nagkaroon ng pag-breakdown. So, 100 MA. During our previous live stream, tinignan pa natin yung possibility na magkaroon ng descending triangle. Nandito yung banda eh, nung na-break. So, sinabi natin, pwede, pwede pa naman, pwede pa naman magkaroon ng descending triangle. Tignan natin, may support naman dyan. Anong nangyari? Hindi nangyari. Na-breakdown. Nagtuloy-tuloy. After breaking down from 100 MA here, nagkaroon ng onting pag Paggilite, then nagkaroon ng na mini mini bounce play, then nagfollow through yung ano yung uh, downtrend signal. 
to make our life easier, stay away from MRT.